Dante AV hardware and software, as well as any other Dante endpoint, will announce themselves and automatically be discovered in the network. They will acquire an IP address either automatically or join the network already with a static IP. So we recommend reviewing the Dante certification program on the chapter about Dante discovery to refresh the concepts. Once Dante Controller is launched, it will be able to discover all Dante AV devices on the network and expose their channels on the routing view. Notice you can subscribe video, audio, and also ancillary control channels between devices. Transmitting channels are shown across the top while all destinations are shown down the side. New icons represent audio, video, and control channels on the routing view. Dante AV blends with the familiar Dante Audio ecosystem following all the Dante controller operations you're already familiar with. Double-click on a device and customize its name under the device config. Click on the intersection to subscribe a receiver to a transmitter. Double-click on the transmitting device and under its tab Video Config you can check the signal. In this example, the transmitter is sending a valid non-HDCP signal 4K resolution, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, RGB 444, 8 bits per color. The compression profile is set to ultra-low latency mode and there is no video stream bandwidth cap enabled. Back to the routing view, we can double-click on the receiver to confirm it is indeed receiving the HDMI signal coming from the transmitter. When we double-click on its Video Configuration tab, we can confirm the resolution, color space, and all the other video parameters. Dante AV supports all standards for video resolution, color space, and bit depth in the market today. Video and audio channels must follow the direction of the connectivity from a transmitter to the receiver. However, if you notice, the Dante AV decoder has also some transmitting channels for USB, infrared, serial strings, and CEC controls, and the Dante AV encoder can subscribe to these controls. These controls are bidirectional and can expand controlling capabilities for AVOIP systems unifying audio, video, and controls on the same panel. That means that control channels can go on both directions, from encoder to decoder or vice versa. With such a freedom of control, you can connect a keyboard and mouse to a Dante AV decoder and have them controlling the devices connected to the Dante AV encoder. On the other side of the campus are the building. With the provided infrared and CEC controls, consumer electronic commands can be used to control devices on the other end of the campus. RS-232 and 422 strings are also supported to control major Pro AV devices on the market. This allows Dante AV devices to transport serial commands often used by third-party control systems to control media players, screens, curtains, and other AV devices. On the device view, there is a serial config tab to adjust the baud rate and other parameters. Please note that serial settings on transmitting and receiving devices must match. Offering freedom to route controls, commands can go anywhere across the Dante AV network. Simply click on the intersection between the device sending the controls and the device receiving them. Note, a decoder that receives a video signal can still be sending USB, infrared, or other commands to an encoder and vice versa. You can use the filter section to narrow down the routing view per media type, per video format, per audio sample rate, or also per ancillary control channel type. It's possible to send the stream of a Dante AV camera to both hardware and software with Dante AV capabilities. For this example, let's imagine a broadcast studio using three Dante AV cameras to be live mixed before being broadcast through digital or satellite. Dante AV is compatible with standard 1 gigabit networking infrastructure, so the cabling between the Dante AV cameras and the switches can be CAT5E or better. As the control room is located far from the studio, the switch inside the studio will need to be connected to other switches until it reaches the control room. These connections are called uplinks or trunk lines and must accommodate the total bandwidth of all Dante AV cameras considering the technical specifications of the codec being used. 
If the sum of all Dante AV video flows will exceed 1 gigabit per second, it's recommended to use switches with higher speed 10 gigabit ports or even link aggregation groups between two or more ports. To learn more about these concepts, please review the Dante certification program. In a typical broadcast studio, there are several teams working with feeds of that image. The sound crew wants to see each camera framing to avoid leaking the shotgun microphone in the scene. The colorists, or the CCU, camera control units, must have a live feed of each camera image to balance the exposure, brightness and contrast in case the lighting conditions change. Sometimes it's also required to have a separate recording of each individual camera for post-production. With Dante Studio, each computer can work as a recording device for each dry camera feed. All these live feeds of the cameras and the final program, or PGM, the term we use to refer to the result after the vision mixing, must be made available for several teams. In that case, the system will need multiple splits of the cameras going to different Dante AV decoders. With Dante AV, it's possible to split video without breakout boxes and send cameras and encoder feeds anywhere on the network. Simply create a multicast group of devices where multiple receivers can subscribe to the same transmitter. All Dante AV devices will default to send media via unicast. Therefore, if you wish to share the same content with multiple receivers, you will need to create a multicast flow. Double-click on the transmitter and on its device view, go to the upper menu and click on the icon that looks like a fork, splitting an arrow in two. Add the video channel to the multicast flow and press Create. Now, your transmitter is sending the same content to multiple receivers via multicast. Back to the routing view, click on the Network Status tab to confirm the same bandwidth coming from the transmitter is going to both receivers. Once the multicast flow is created, Dante AV decoders can then subscribe to that same Dante AV camera feed and will all receive the live stream with perfect time alignment. That means that multiple teams can work together with the same reference. For example, the camera control units, or CCUs, will be able to control the camera in time without any delays. The boom operator will respect the framing in time without any delays. And the vision mixer will then be able to mix all the images together and generate a final PGM. A Dante AV network offers virtually unlimited video splits. However, IGMP is required to control multicast flows. Keep in mind that one video channel at 108060 with H.264 codec will consume an average of 50 megabit per second. However, one channel of video at 4K60 with JPEG 2000 can consume a maximum bandwidth of 700 megabits per second. As a quick review, unicast transmission is a one-to-one -one communication. Now, this is great for sending a personal letter to somebody, but let's suppose you now need to send party invitations. To do that, I'd have to put multiple copies of that same information in my mailbox and the post office would deliver each one. On a network, this means our transmitter is working harder to resend the same data over and over. When your duplicate signals begin to occupy a lot of bandwidth, multicast might be a better alternative. Multicast works more like a magazine subscription, for example. The ability of filtering multicast is only possible by activating the IGMP filter on all switches. Now, when the transmission is sent, and it's only sent out once, the switches look at their subscription lists to see who was interested in that particular stream. The devices that are interested in that data stream can register their interest with the switch. The switches then will coordinate with each other to ensure that path of the data is established from the transmitter to all participants on this multicast group. In Dante Controller, we have two icons to indicate the two signal types. Unicast is shown as a dot with one arrow, indicating it is only going to one place. Multicast is shown as a dot with a forked arrow, indicating the signal being split to multiple destinations.
The key takeaways of this chapter are that with Dante AV, it is possible to route audio, video, and control channels using Dante Controller, as well as sample rates the video codecs must match for devices to communicate. Audio remains uncompressed and is compatible with all other Dante AV endpoints. Dante AV supports all professional video over IP parameters, including multiple codecs within the Dante AV family. It is possible to multicast Dante AV video flows, however, IGMP is required, particularly when using professional high-quality codecs. All solutions of the Dante AV family offer optimized bandwidth codecs with compression settings to comply with 1 gigabit per second Ethernet connections. Included are USB, infrared, CC, and serial control channels that open new possibilities to integrate Dante AV systems.